all over the place. You know, sometimes it just pops into your head and sometimes, you know, it's a, a forced process in order to uh, get the exact uh, meaning that you're trying to get across out. So uh, sometimes when I write by myself, it just uh, it just comes out. Sometimes it's, there's ongoing songs that are being developed for three years at a time. Uh, I'm a fan of the art of, of the co-write. I think as an empath, I do really, really good asking questions and bring the best out of other writers. Uh, so, yeah, my creative process is just, you know, ha having a point, dealing with it, and doing whatever it takes to get the point, to get that point across. The song Avalon uh, was written here at Wishbone over in the B Room. Uh, Ed Hill and I were writing one day, and I had this idea. I I've just always loved the name Avalon, and I'm a huge Rick Hoff uh, fan, and, and he was a friend of mine. And, I, and uh, I just wanted to kind of pay tribute to him and uh, Junior Lowe, who was my neighbor that played on many hits, and Travis and, and, and the Swampers and, and uh, Clayton Ivey and, and everybody that got their start on Avalon. And uh, my first cut was by uh, T.G. Shepard, a song that Rick recorded, so I got my start on Avalon and I just wanted to kind of pay tribute to, uh, to all my heroes. My name's Ed Hill, and I've been a songwriter for basically my whole adult life. Um, I've been fortunate. I've had uh, lots of songs recorded by other people and uh, singles. And uh, it's a miracle to get, get that, but I've been able to uh, express my feelings. And uh, it's a little bit different when you try to get other people to record your songs instead of yourself. but. Uh, I just uh, try to write the best song I can write, and uh, every once in a while, uh, I'll get one cut. And uh, it's uh, it's an interesting thing because it's intellectual property, which you invent something from nothing, and I kind of like that. Um, so I still do it. It's a great exercise for your brain, and. Uh, I remember when my dad was getting older, he would give me song ideas because it was just sort of like a crossword puzzle. You just kind of have fun doing it. And, uh, and if you get somebody else to record your song, that just means that you related to them somehow. And uh, sometimes if you try to follow what everybody else is doing, it might not be uh, turn out great. And you just got to stop and try to write something that's really good that you think will last through time. Uh, keep creating. The more you create, the more often you're gonna, the more likely you're gonna hit something out the park. You know, the, the just doing it is is part of the process. Surround yourself with people that are better than you, and always have an "I can" attitude. Um, there are people told me along the way that there was no possible chance that somebody like me was ever going to get a record deal, and here I am. Uh, at 40 years old, signed my first record deal, and I just kept my eye on the prize, kept pushing, got sidetracked many, many times, and kept coming back, and kept working. Just make sure you surround yourself with the right people that are telling you yes. Uh, there's gonna be a whole bunch of no's. You ignore those no's. You learn from the feedback that they give you any. And uh, but there's a lot of people out there, I promise you, telling you yes. And you keep doubling down on those yeses. Keep improving your product. The tape never lies. You will review video of yourself hone your craft, hone your product, make sure that you know uh, what, what it is that you're trying to say, what it is that you want to put out there, create something, review it, make sure it's, it does both those things and then put it out. Just keep on doing it over and over again until you zero in on exactly who you are as an artist. Well, the motivation for writing songs now is quite a bit different than it was in the, in the late 90s to the mid 2000s. Uh, it's, it's just now I feel like I need to just write stuff that I really, really like and not try to chase radio so much. Uh, the, the, um, the money's not there like it used to be and, and, uh, and now that we've got all that out of the way, we can just get right back to the art. Normally whenever you get together with a co-writer, uh, you know, any number of things can happen. Uh, they come in with an idea you come in with an idea, 
you both come in with the ideas or nobody has any idea what the heck is going on, you know? So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hit or miss. It's, human beings are, are a very varied species. And so you never know what you get, what you get whenever you go into a co ride with somebody new. Uh, you just have to be open, listen, find where you guys connect, find commonalities and build upon those things. Uh, hopefully it's a learning experience. Hopefully it's a chance for you to uh, think outside your normal comfort zone. Uh, yeah, co-writing is a lot of fun. I love to be people's first co-write too. That's always a really, really good time.